Okay, last time we finished with the analysis of the type of algorithm. So at the time we learned how the types of algorithm work, especially in the graph operation. And we also learned with the label operation and how if we apply the priority. And at the end, we know that the running time of the extra algorithm can be expressed with the O M log N since the graph is connected. But overall, we can look at the big O with O N plus M log N when you apply So this is a code that you can use. So yeah, we are going to look at the code today. I will skip this one. Um, there are some questions. Why would the work? The text algorithm is based on the greedy method. Greedy. So greedy. We want to find every on pair. We want to find every on property. So it adds vertices by increasing distance. We select A and then we select the other vertices. We select other vertices and then we check for every possible edge. We check for every possible weighted Suppose it didn't find all shortest distance. So let F be the first wrong vertex the algorithm process. So for example, let be this is the wrong vertex. So if it is wrong, when the previous node, which is D, on the true shortest path was considered, its distance was right. What does it mean? So if we check this on D, if you look at the previous example, we use the path from A to C, C to D, D to F. So this one is more difficult than A to C and C to F. So if you look at the D, there is a true short step that was considered. So there is a true short step here. So we can relax so we call it we can relax the path because we know that there is a connection between d and f so we can relax the distance from a to f by looking at the true shortest set but the edge d f was relaxed at the time so the DF, the distance to F, which is higher than the distance to D, okay, of course, because we will go to F in longer than we go to D from. So F distance cannot be wrong. There is, there is no wrong product. So there is always a strong effect when the graph is connected. That's why the next for finding the job. However, the extra algorithm does not work for negative weight. So if you have a negative like this one. So, for example, from A 
to C is 6, and from C to F is minus 8, then it is sorry. So if a node with a negative incident X were to be added lead to the cloud, it could mess up distance for particles or the so you know that this distance the distance from A to C is six. And then actually we can go from A to C via T. So you can go A to T which is 4, and then D to C, which is 1. So if we go directly from A to C, it is 6. If we go from A to D to C, it is 5. A, D, 5. So we can find the same time. But you know that the text problem use the greedy. The distance is always in. We want to find the structure. We want to find the structure. Then if there is a negative position, it will be the structure. That's why when you have a negative x, it will make the Shop that become different. For example, if you want to go from A to C, so the true distance will be one. Because when we go from A to D, it is four. When we go to F, it is five. So we go from A to D to F and to C because from A to D is 4 from D to F is 5 from F to C is minus then the distance will be 1 so the meaning of minus we have been to clarify what is here we minus. So here we need to check whether this true term effect or not. That's why there is another the name of the algorithm is Bellman problem. I think some of you will use the to check. The Bellman plot it works even with negative weight x, and it must assume directed edges. Directed edges means you have a direction. For otherwise, we will have negative weight cycles. So the directed edges you can say that we have directed like this one if we have a cycle if we have a cycle like this or if we have a full cycle like this one then there will be a negative wave cycle but at this moment we do not consider this cycle iteration i find all the shortest path that use i edges. So we will check for every possible i, and the running time it will be n forty-five. So n it is the number of vertices, and m it is the number of edges. So it can be extended to detect of a negative weight cycle if it exit so how we can do this one first let's look at the Bellman algorithm 
if you look this pseudo for all vertices let's check if the vertex v equals to s so s is the start node s is the starting node and yeah, v is all possible nodes or vertices Now, if f, uh, sorry, if p equals to s, then set the distance v, comma q. So we can have a distance from s to s. It is q. Else, set the first distance as infinite. Infinite and first time. Now we want to do the loop for every possible i from 1 until n minus 1. So we are going to check for every one. For every x, in this case, we want to relax x. So let u be the origin of e, and let z is the opposite of e based on the not u. Can you understand? Bro? So u is the origin. If u is the origin, then the opposite of u on the x e it is z. Okay, so that's the meaning by these two to the and then we want to get the distance. Get the distance of u plus the width of u. So we want to check what is the distance now until the product q. And let's plus with the width of e, then it will be the distance of that. So if r Plus then get distance z. So for example, z is 20. Distance z is 20. But here, let's say this one is 15. Plus, let's say this one is 4. So if the distance u is 15 and e is 4, we will get the distance from u to z is 15 plus 4. For example. And then let's say the result is 19. So 19, we will check with the distance of z. The distance to z currently is 20. Because r is less than 20, then we will set the distance according to r. So the new distance will be 19. So we will use the third one. So this is the uh, example if we have the negative. So we want to get the dv. It means for every of the vertex, we have the distance. Let's suppose we start from b. So from a to a is 0. From a to b is infinite. Infinite, 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 and infinite. So we can go to the next. Now we have the distance from A to any other node. And we can look at the x. The x from A to B is 8. We can look the x. The edge from A to C is minus 2, and the edge from A to D is 4. Then, yeah, we can just look at the E is still infinite, F is still infinite, and we choose the lowest one, which is minus 2. Now, we can update. If now we are in the C, 
So we can calculate for every of the possible next node. So now if we are in the C, C to B. C to B means if we start from A, A to C is minus 2. Then if we go to B, it is minus 2 plus 7. Then it is 5. And then we want to compare with the original value, which is 8. Because 5 is less than 8, we update the distance to B with 5. Now, we can check the D. From A to D, it is 4 at the first time. And then we can go from A to C and then C to D. So we have the minus 2 plus 1. Then we compare. Minus 1, is it less than 4? Yes. So we update the distance in D with minus 1. And then we can go to E. So we have A to C, C to E. At the original distance, it is infinite. Then we can update. If we go from A to C is minus 2. And then we have 3. Minus 2 plus 3, it is 1. And then we want to check F. For F, we can have the distance from A to C, and then we have the distance from, uh, sorry, at the originally, we still do not know that we have the shortest path here, so we can use the A to D, which is 4, 4, we have the X from D to F, which is 5, then originally it is If you look at this number, so we will select the shortest or the minimum one. The minimum one is minus one. Previously, we already select minus two, so we do not select again the C. We select D. So we go from D and then check for the possible other nodes. So the D, if we go from D to F, if we have the most minimum value here, we can have minus 1 plus 5, it is 4. Then F now becomes 4. So this one will be done until all the edges has been visited. All the edges has been visited. Then the last one will be F. We, we can select, oh, why I skip the key? So actually we can select E and then there is one step. I missed this one. First we can select E and then at the end, there is another algorithm we call it DAG. So the DAG is the directed acyclic graph. Usually we call it DAG. So this DAG like the text graph, like the bell graph, we use the algorithm for directing graph. And we assume there is no sign. Okay. That's why the word is acyclic. So acyclic. Okay. 
means low cycle. It works with the negative weight and it uses topological order. So what does it mean by topological order? The topological order, we say that it is based on the alphabetic. For example, if you start with the A, then yeah, we can find any words start from A. And then next we start from B and then C and then D and then E and then F and so on. So we call it, this is the topological order. And then this does not use any fancy data structure. So we just sorted this on the topological which one is the first? Yeah, we just select A, and then next we select B, and then next we select D, and then next we select D, and so on. And then we check the possibility. So if we run this algorithm, it is much faster than the extra algorithm. The running time would be N plus one. So you can look at this algorithm. At the first step, it is similar to the parent block. We want to check for the vertices. If the F, if the V equals to S, then let's set the distance Q. If it's not, then let's set in And then we perform a topological sort of a vertical. So it means we select, we just start A, B, C, D, E, F. So if we have another word, for example, I want to go to Incheon, and then I want to go to Suwon, and then I want to go to Kimpo, for example, then the topological hub will be first it goes to the list alphabet with G and then I and then S. So we check based on the topological sort. So the topological sort will be using for the iteration for loop for every U from one to next. So there will be N for loop. So the N for loop we will check one by one from the topological order. And then we will check based on the out end. Mean if we have no there is out. If we have a look come to the look, so we call this is in at one, and then we call it, it is the incoming at or we call this outgoing at. This is outgoing at, this is incoming at. Again, we want to relax the at by looking at the opposite of U based on the F E and then get the distance. And if R is less than the get distance Z, we we'll set the distance Z with R. So the only difference is the loop we use the topological order. And it claims that using this topological order, it is faster than the next one. So the same with the previous example, we have the, the graph like this one. And then we have A, which is starting from zero and the other is infinite. And then yeah, we will check for every 
possible x from e. So let's assume that we start from a. Suppose a is the starting point. Then we will update. Now we check using the a, b, c, d. Okay. So a, b, c, d. So a to b is minus two. A to C is 8, and A to D is 4. Okay, now I use the topological order. The topological order means after A, I will go to B, regardless the minimum or regardless the distance. So I go to B and then check. From B, what will be the possible adds to other node? So from B to C, so I can update the distance from A to C. This minus 2 plus 7, which is 5. 5 is lower than 8. Then I update this one, 5. From A to B, and I want to go to D. A to D is 4. Now A to B is minus 2. B to D is 1. Then at the first time it is 4. Because we can go to D via B. Then the distance becomes minus 1. We can go to F. At the original distance it is infinite. So if we look at this one, minus 2 plus 3, now it becomes 1. We can go to E at the original distance, this infinite. So we have minus 2 plus 9, now it becomes 7. So we can go to the next. The next will be C. And then we can check. We have the shortest is from A to B to C. And then we check so what is the distance in F. The distance in F originally is 1. If we use the path from A to B to C to F, now the distance becomes 0. So we update it to 0. And then we go next to D. From D, we know that the shortest is minus 1. So we can look at the x to E. The original distance of E is 7. And then we want to check minus 1 plus 5. Then it is 4. Because 4 is less than 7. So we update the distance to E equal to 4. So this will be the final distance from A to all other Okay, so that's the algorithm. Thanks for and for energy.